problem guys let's try this problem right here this question is asking the following are the number of jobs a sample of six people applied for find the mean the variance and the standard deviation now let's see how we can do it here the only difficult part is this variance otherwise others are going to be very easy and we have to know the equation of this variance that is going to be s square is equal to sigma x i minus x bar square divided by n minus 1 and here this x i is total addition of all these observations and n is number of observations and x bar is mean and uh, that's it right now what we can do is here the best way to do this problem this kind of problem is to create a table and find all the values and fi finally solve for this one so here we, have, we are going to have the columns that's going to have observations that's xi observations and then we are going to have mean and then we have to calculate xi minus x bar then we have to calculate xi minus x bar square now let's go ahead and do that okay so here we have a list of observations that is 17 15 23 7 9 30 so let's arrange them like this 17 15 23 7 9 30 now we have to find out the mean to find out the mean what we have to do is we have to add all of these values and then divide by number of time it have occurs like we have totally seven number of observation so n is squared actually six one two three four five six so n is six and the equation for the mean is x bar is equal to x i divided by n right actually sigma is x i so that's the addition of x i and if you add them together that's going to give you 84 and we divide this one by 84 84 divided by 6 and if you divide you should get 14 so 14 is going to be our mean so we just put 14 all over this column 14 14 14 14 and this is one of the question mean right so we answered this one already mean is this one and now the next part is we have to find xi minus x bar so we simply subtract this one from this so 17 minus 14 that's going to be 3 15 minus 14 that's going to be 1 23 minus 14 that's going to be 9 and then 7 minus 14 that's going to be negative 7 and 9 minus 14 that's going to be negative 5 and then 13 minus 14 that's going to be negative 1 and if you add them together you should get zero so this is a way to make sure you are calculating everything correct right now after that we have to square this one and 3 square is going to be 9 1 square is going to be 1 9 square is going to be 81 and 7 square is going to be 49 and 5 square is going to be 25 what negative 1 square is going to be just 1 now if you add them together that's going to be 166 that is our numerator of this variance because you see that is sigma xi minus x bar square this table is xi minus x bar square sigma is addition of all of them so this is going to be our numerator for this variance so s square is equal to, equal to 166 over n minus 1 and we know that the number of observation is 6 right n is equal to 6 we already know that 6 minus 1 and that's going to be 166 over 5 and if you calculate that that's going to give you 33.2 jobs <coughs> jobs square so this is our variance now we found out this answer now we had to find, find out standard deviation standard deviation is s and if s square is this s is going to be square root of this right square root of 33.2 and that's going to give us if you find the square root that's going to give you 5.76 and the unit is going to be jobs 
and this is job square for variance it's jobs job square and for mean also it's jobs so this is also jobs right and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time